Want to smash a virtual presentation out of the ballpark? This is how you smash a virtual presentation out of the ballpark. My name is Marcus John Henry Brown, and I'm a performance artist who hacks business conferences with performance art and teaches business people the dark art of stagecraft. Well, I did before this bloody virus came along. I want to share my top tips of how to write, craft, and perform a virtual talk at a virtual conference. This is my first tiny talk. The first thing you need to grasp is that the context has changed. You're not in a conference room or on a conference stage anymore, but in a tiny box on somebody's mobile phone, tablet, or computer. You're not a physical being anymore. You're a pixel being. You're a moving picture. You've become a film. That's the new context for your intellectual product, for your talk for your performance and the ideas in your brain, which I like to call your virtual brain product. The fantastic Vicky Ross tells us that we have to write for real people. Yes, but no. You see, that certainly plays a part in how you write your virtual talk. But in terms of performance, you're, you're writing and producing something for really distracted people. There's a lot going on in their lives right now. There's a lot going on around them in their work from home hellscapes. Now, this means that your talk needs to be tight, well paced. And as Kurt Vonnegut once said, you need to start your story as close to the end as you possibly can. They need to be short, concise and exciting. They also need to be as film-like as they possibly can. Remember, the context has changed. You're not locked in a physical room with an audience that can't escape from your musings and your endless rambling. <laughs> you've become a video, you've become a moving picture, a film that they can escape, that they can turn off, tune out of, and close their laptops on. Right as though nobody's watching, because nobody's watching. You're beyond PowerPoint and Keynote now. You are making a film. Use moving pictures, for heaven's sake. Let's assume that you wanted to tell a story about John F. Kennedy. Now, in the good old days of conferences, you would have probably crafted a beautifully designed slide with a picture. But you can use moving pictures now. You can give the audience a better idea of the man you're talking about and the story that you want to tell. You can let them see what kind of man he was. Ich bin ein Berliner. And then there's your performance and working with the camera. Here's what Werner Herzog has to say about working with the camera. It's like death staring at you when you look at a camera. And he's right, the camera sucks all of the energy out of your performance and can make a shy or ill-prepared performer look. Ron, where's my legs? So that means you have to give a little bit more, 20% more of yourself to be more engaging. You have to embarrass yourself to keep the audience engaged. And you have to practice. You're a professional, for heaven's sake. Practice your talk. Know what you're going to say before you hit the record button. Be a professional. Stop wasting the audience's time just because you didn't take the time to practice properly and make yourself look as good as you possibly could. And if mistakes happen, it doesn't matter. You can fix them in post. You can fix them in the edit. Make jump cuts. Get rid of all of the errors, all the ums and the ahs and the all oh, technical issues. Just chop them out for heaven's sake. The edit becomes part of the performance. You can control it. You can tweak it. You can form it. Your virtual talk is your virtual brain product. Don't let your virtual brain product let your actual brain product down. I hope you found that helpful. I hope you found it engaging. I hope you found it interesting. If there's anything more you would like to know, how I make the videos, what kind of tech I'm using, if you want me to help you make your virtual brain product, your virtual talk better, then feel free to get in touch. I'm more than happy to help you in exchange for money.